Hello guys, uh, with this short video I wanted to give sort of an update on the my adventures with Sony ZV-10 Mark II camera and the wireless uh, microphone system from Hohem, Hohem Mic 01. I'm recording this video using it. In short, I bought the Sony ZV-10 Mark II a camera from Sony that has been released several weeks ago and there was a lot of uh, reviews on the YouTube praising it and it's a very nice compact camera that can record 4K uh, in log 422, 10-bit, uh, basically a great option for vloggers, for uh, creators. And I wanted to get it as a dedicated camera for uh, shooting uh, videos like this, but also due to its amazing autofocus uh, shooting B-rolls, uh, carrying it around and so on. But upon trying to connect it to uh, my wireless uh, microphone, I encountered a problem with noise. There was a lot of white noise, uh, basically, that you could not get rid of, as if the noise floor was just so high, there was no dampening and it was just ever present. So if you're interested, just check the uh, previous video that I made. And basically that was a huge disappointment for me because I like Hohem products. I have uh, this microphone and I also have a Hohem MT2 gimbal with which I'm recording this video. It's a very nice gimbal. It syncs greatly with Sony cameras via Bluetooth. So you can even control a zoom uh, through the gimbal back and forth as you, uh, as you can see I'm doing right now. It's a very nice system to have it all together because, for example, the receiver from the microphone, you can connect it to the gimbal, connect the receiver to the camera with a 3.5 KRS cable, and it works nice. Anyway, the sound was awful. It didn't work. Uh, I tried to find the resolution through Hohem. Um, basically, they told me since the microphone worked well with Fuji X-T5 and other devices like my iPhone and my laptop, uh, it was not a microphone's fault, which kind of makes sense, right? And um, I thought, okay, then probably it's a camera's fault. <clears throat> uh, long story short, yesterday I went uh, to the store where I bought the Sony ZV-10 Mark II. I tried it with another sample of Sony ZV-10 Mark II and the issue persisted. So the issue happened again with another sample and maybe it's the same batch that has some shielding problems. I don't know. Uh, but I tried it again with the Sony ZV-10 Mark I and it did not have any issue. So Hoho Micro I worked greatly uh, with the Mark I of Sony ZV-10. Next to that, uh, I tried it with Sony A6600 and it also uh, worked fantastic. So I ended up buying a Sony A6700 with which I'm recording this video. Um, it's a more expensive version of the camera, so I did not expect initially that I would buy this, uh, cam this expensive camera for my purposes because I have a Fujifilm X-T5. Um, <clears throat> however, I was kind of impressed with the capabilities of the autofocus uh, plus the A6700 has IBIS. Uh, it does not have any crop on the active stabilization mode. Um, it has 4K 120, 120 frames per second uh, video capabilities. So I'm quite happy that I got it. Plus it doesn't have any audio issues with the Hohem microphone. Yeah, so that's the short video, the short update that I wanted to make to close the subject. Uh, Apparently, the Sony ZV-10 Mark II, uh, two samples that I tried, had the issue with the 3.5 millimeter TRS uh, mic uh, input. Uh, A6700 didn't, and also the ZV-10 Mark I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I went with the A6700. So if anybody is curious, uh, if you want to buy Hohe Mic 01, just try it with a different cameras or different types of uh, Sony cameras. I'm pretty sure that some of them will work. And uh, yeah, I hope I will make nice videos with this camera. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.